On this episode, we're going to be downloading and installing Windows Server 2012 and setting it up as a domain controller. If we head over to the Microsoft's website, we just need to select the Windows Server 2012 R2 option. All we have to do is sign in and then we use uh, an email address that we have. Wait a few seconds. And then we want to select the ISO option. Now we just need to fill in the form. The ones with the asterisks are the only ones we need to do. So this is our email address and any added components we want with the server download. For this, I'm just going to select no. And then we're going to click English. And then we just need to press continue. Now the download has already started. So now we just have to wait. Now that is done, all we need to do is download another application. So if we head over to VirtualBox, all of these links will be down in the description, and then we just need to download the VirtualBox for Windows host. Now we have that downloaded, we just need to go ahead and install VirtualBox. So if we click Run, and then go through the wizard, it's fairly simple. Uh, leave everything as standard. Proceed, install. and finish. So now that's done and we already have the ISO downloaded, all we have to do is click new. Then we just need to name the operating system. So for this, we're just going to call it Windows Server 2012. And then here we just need to go down to other Windows 64 bit and click next. For this, we're going to upgrade the memory size to four gig. And then we're going to create a new virtual hard disk and we're going to have it as the VDI. We're going to leave it as dynamically allocated. And then we're just going to upgrade that to 30 gig. So now that's done, we just need to add the ISO to the storage IDE controller. So we just choose a disk and then we find our download, which is here and then open. Now that's done, we'll just OK, and it's ready to go. So if press start, it should load up. Now we just need to uh, change this depending on where you are. So here, now I'm going to change this to you know, Kingdom, it just makes it easier when typing and other things. And then for this option, we want to use the Windows Server 2012 R2 Standard Evaluation Server with a GUI. And then I accept. Please do take your time to read this. And then we get, for this, we need to choose Custom Install Windows Only. And then we need to press New, Apply, OK, and then Next. We'll just wait for this to finish. So now it's just going to restart and then it should start the Windows Server. So now it's asking us to press Ctrl or Delete to sign in. However, this isn't the case as we're using VirtualBox. So we need to press our Ctrl key and delete and this will present us to the next screen. And then we just type in the password that we put in earlier. And we should be able to sign in. I'm just going to click no. Before we go any further, I am going to install the guest editions. So if we go ahead and look for the CD and then just go through the wizard i leave everything as standard, press install. What this allows us to do is it allows us to have the virtual machine as a full screen. It's just easier to work with. We do, however, have to reboot now. So now we can go to full screen mode and it does take a little while for it to actually go full screen, but it should do. 
There we go. This is our server dashboard. This is where we can do loads of different things on the server. We can configure different roles and features. So for now, we're just going to add roles and features. We're going to click next. We're going to leave this selected. We're going to leave this how it is. And then we're going to select the Active Directory domain service and then add all of these features. Just click next. Leave this how it is. Press next and then press install. So now that's done, we just need to promote this server to a domain controller. So if we click that, then we just need to add a new forest. So we're going to call this demsec.local and press next. Now we just want to type in a password. So now we've typed in a password, we just need to press next. We get a warning here, but we don't need to worry about it for now. So we just press next. And then this should give us our NetBIOS domain name as Demsec. Next. We'll leave all of these as they are. This is just an overview of what we've done in our previous steps. So we can click next. We will get a few errors, but there's nothing to worry about if we just press install. So now it will ask, it will tell us that we are going to be signed out. So if we press close, it will automatically sign us out and restart the virtual machine. And that's the domain controller configured. So it's quite important that we take a snapshot of the virtual machine. This is so if any errors occur in the future, we can go back to what we originally had. So all we need to do is go down to the machine tab down here and press take a snapshot and then just press OK. And after a few seconds, it will save the snapshot.